Hello, people. The sham that they call the Kyle Rittenhouse trial in Kenosha, Wisconsin is over. Kyle Rittenhouse has been found innocent of all charges. On one night, a 17-year-old boy was attacked by three grown men, all with violent felony records. He put two of them down like the dogs they were, and he blew the elbow off the third. Could never say that. Now I can. This trial should have never happened. It was horrible. The fact that it happened. All the evidence showed that this was self-defense. And the jury has just found him innocent of all charges. Let's uh, go to the verdict the minute it happened. And uh, has the jury reached a verdict as to each count of the information? Yes, ma'am. One verdict. Yes. Would you hand all of the paperwork to the bailiff, please? Yes, one okay. Yeah, thanks. Uh, can you guys mute Logic and Crypto, please? May I see that too, please? Uh, The left-wing media is very, very devastated today. They did everything they can to put this boy, poor bullshit the rest of his Imagine how scared this is. ...into its verdicts. First count of the information, Joseph Rosenbaum. We, the jury, find the defendant, Kyle H. Rittenhouse, not guilty. As to the second count of the information, Richard McGinnis, we, the jury, find the defendant, Kyle H. Rittenhouse, as to the information, we, the jury, find the defendant, Kyle H. Rittenhouse, not guilty. As to the fourth count of the information, Anthony Huber, we, the jury, find the defendant, Kyle H. Rittenhouse, not guilty. As to the fifth count of the information, Gage Grosskreutz, jury, find the defendant, Kyle H. Rittenhouse, not guilty. Yeah! Holy yeah. shit. Oh, my God. Yes. Oh, my yes. God. Oh, man. I was just... Oh, you guys need to get it. His whole life, life just came. Oh, this, week. this was three weeks. Uh, you were a, a wonderful jury to work with. You were punctual. You were attentive. Um, and the forgotten six over here who had a, a, a very difficult job of uh, keeping from discussing the case during the time that they were sequestered as well. All of you, you just, I, I couldn't have asked for a better jury to work with. And uh, this has really been my pleasure. You've, I think uh, with the, verdict, the verdicts themselves, just the attentiveness and the cooperation of uh, us. Just the conference. It was the best judge I've ever seen. Of our he took no crap. So, um, I dismiss you at this time. You're never under any obligation to. Two days ago, MSNBC sent out a photographer to follow the bus holding the jurors to take pictures illegally. What this judge did is he cooked, he kicked MSNBC out of the courthouse. All the workers, anybody that had anything to do with MSNBC, was banned from the courthouse. They wanted to get pictures of the jurors and put them out there in the public so they could be terrorized by the leftist animals. To discuss any aspect of this case with him. That's his girlfriend right there and his mother right next to him. You're welcome to do so as little or as much as you want. Uh, the media have requested, a number of media sources have requested that you have been uh, 
presentations to you writing, and it's entirely up to you whether you want to. They are not. Um, if anyone does tag you and just you know, tell them you're not interested in discussing it, if that's the case. Um, and if anyone persists in doing so, uh, report that to us and it will be addressed. That's you, Joe. Sure. I'm talking to you. Uh, at the beginning of the trial, uh, there was some concern about uh, inflation and, uh, and your safety. And I knew that we will take every... Uh, if I was this kid, I wouldn't talk to any channel except maybe Newsmax, uh, Channel One, um, and also Fox News. There are only people that actually put the correct stuff out there. They did not call this kid a mass murderer. They called it what it was, self-defense. The first guy to be killed was a, was a, a convicted child molester and just got out of uh, prison for... Uh, sodomizing and raping three young boys under the age of five. The second person he shot choked his girlfriend out, let her come back to life, and he choked her out again, and he wound up getting in, in charge with assault. The third guy that he blew the elbow off of, the guy flew in, he was from Antifa, and he flew in from Seattle to provoke the riot that night in Kenosha. These are the facts they don't want you to hear. These are the actual facts. Kyle Rittenhouse is found innocent of all charges, even the gun charge, no time in jail. His money will go back to the people who bailed him out, which was the guy that owns uh, the pillow company and the actor Ricky, Ricky Schrader, Schroeder. They came up with uh, uh, $2 million bail between the two of them. Uh, he tried to get bail on GoFundMe pay. GoFundMe shut it down when it had like a half a million dollars. But GoFundMe let Antifa be on the GoFundMe page with no problem. See, people, this is the trouble in America. We have these leftist scumbags, and that's what they are. They're leftist scumbags trying to, you know, even though the evidence is all between, in front of them, they see everything. They seen that this kid was attacked by three grown men that were violent felons. They went after his gun. They lost. They lost to a 17-year-old boy. That's what it comes down to. There's not many, many things going on right now that says that's worth even discussing in the United States right now with all the garbage going on. With a horrible president, our country purposely being destroyed our ports where nobody can get in uh, to uh, deliver goods, to purposely drive up the prices, inflation purposely being driven up. Everything is going wrong with this country right now. And it's only going to get worse. And um, the shame part, it's purposely being done and people want to pretend it's not happening. This has happened. This happened today. And now you're going to watch the left-wing media tonight all crying about this kid being found innocent. Low lives that couldn't do one day in jail, wishing that a 17, 18-year-old kid would go to prison for the rest of his life for defending himself. They originally said that he had the gun illegally. Not true. What happened is they dropped the gun charges because when they read further into the gun charges, the kid, the kid was entitled to have the gun on him. That's why there's no gun charges in this case. And they don't want to talk about that either. So at least something good has happened in America, this. But the problem is once this is over, we don't have this to look at no more. Now we have to turn on the TV and look at Joe Biden who doesn't even know what day it is. I'll turn this on a little bit more, see if they have anything to say. A measure to ensure that that is, uh, your concerns are addressed and respected. Uh, and um, I'm gonna talk to you for just a minute, not about anything to do with, but just a little, um, um, you, as they say, you're welcome to discuss the case as little or as much. This judge was fantastic. He did uh, not. He did not let the liberals take over the uh, or the leftists or the media take over the courtroom. He was nothing like the OJ lawyer. He was nothing like most of the. I mean, judge. 
he was nothing like most of these judges. He ran this the way it was supposed to be ran. And now you're going to hear the prosecution crying like the bitches they are. But the fact of the matter is, they should have never had this young man up here. You know, you're allowed to defend yourself in America. You know, you're not allowed to kill people in a cell, you know, for no reason. The media doesn't want to talk about all the people that were killed during the riots by Antifa and by BLM. But they do want to talk about this young man who defended himself against three grown animals. Well, people, it's going to be a short video. I'm going to put it out. I hope you enjoy it. Once again, Kyle Rittenhouse is innocent. End of story. Nothing else. There's no other charges. He's going home. And the media is going to be crying like a bunch of little bitches tonight. That's it, people. Have a nice one.